What's going on guys? I'm back with another video on my channel, Army Minute Initiative, and today I'm going to be giving a tutorial on how to do Clone Wars video effects to make your stop motions better. Now I know a lot of people probably want to learn how to do this, and I'm fairly certain not one other creator has even thought to do that. Um, because let's be real here, the stop motion community is extremely selfish. Once they have really good video effects, they for some reason think that they are just they just don't have to share it with anyone. And that's why a lot of people lack good visual effects. So I'm going to show how to make them. And on my Discord, I will also be providing them. So if you have Adobe After Effects, you can go ahead and make your own. So anyhow, we're going to get into the video. So as you can see, I've got a quick scene from my next upcoming Clone Wars video. Please subscribe. And yes, the Army Men videos will be returning soon. I just don't want to do them right now. Fun fact. So... We're going to have to make a nice little video effect because in this clip, the clone, if I can just expand it, is shooting a super battle droid. You know, he fires a couple times, the droid goes down. Boom. Simple, small stop motion. Not a bunch of detail, not a really insane film, but it's a good film. So, obviously, we want to add some attention to detail. Hold on. What is that? All right. We're cool. So... Now comes the blaster effect. Now, if, if you guys have seen Clone Wars, you know there's a specific kind of blaster effect. Now, in order to find a blaster effect, these are super hard to find. We found I found it online searching the internet, and I wish I could remember the name. I believe it's a dots, like a um, like a light, a blue centered light or something, or telescopic light. Anyhow, moving on. So what you want to do is you want to grab that, and then in order to you know make it a visual effect, you want to blend it with the screen. And, you know, he's shooting to the side. He's not shooting straight. So we're going to shrink it down, like, roughly to this scale. Uh, maybe increase the size a tiny bit and angle it the right way. So now we have it right, and we have the first blaster. Now, you're probably saying that that's not the entire thing. Well, you're absolutely right. So first thing we're going to want to do, however, though, is take that, cut off part of it, and we have that. So next thing we're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a blue laser effect. Uh, I actually took, I actually um, did some Photoshop to make this little blaster effect. So if you want to get your hands on it, um, you're going to have to join my Discord or find the effect yourself. But anyhow, um, so yeah, it's a nice little Clone Wars style blaster effect. As I said, if you're a Star Wars fan and you want it on my Discord, just DM me privately and I will find a way to get back to you. So, you want to take it like that, and with it blended on screen, you have a Clone Wars blaster effect. Now, make sure you set the visual effects usually on your videos to 30 FPS. That way, you can capture a nice, smooth effect. Now, however, when it comes to this, it's just to still pictures. So you're going to cut it all off, and boom, you have a blaster. Now, if you want to add some detail to it, and for some editors like mine, that doesn't always, uh, it, like... Uh, What's the word? Pick up the visual effects. So what you want to do, if you want to make the blaster effect slightly more realistic, so I have an auto-saved uh, muzzle flash that I turned into a blaster, or that I found online on YouTube. And if you all want your hands on it, again, please go to my Discord. I will be providing everything I can. So take this, and what you want to do, you know, as usual, blend it with the screen. We're going to have to expand it just a tiny bit, because, you know. Anyhow... We're going to take it over here. We have to angle it, of course. Um, shouldn't be too much of a... Okay, and we want to put it right underneath it. Now, you're saying that kind of... You're probably thinking that ruins the effect. Then you just simply take it and you cut it off. And then, boom, you have smoke that comes out of the blaster, making the blaster all the more realistic. Adding smoke to a blaster, I find, it really increases the... Uh, the inception that there is a blaster so you have a blaster and now of course what you can do to make it a little bit like you know better uh, you can control press control D when doing this and duplicate the uh, images so you can add multiple effects and simply repeat it I know that you could simply just repeat this process over and over again but I know a lot of you probably don't have that kind of patience so what you all you have to do is simply duplicate it and boom you just saved yourself like 30 fucking minutes of time that you uh, can now spend uh, speeding through your video. 
really efficient tool uh, method, if you ask me. And boom. Simple Clone Wars effect. We will continue on that in a minute. So by this point, the clone is fired three times. Now it's time to Im to uh, amplify the uh, droid's death. I'm sorry. Edit it in. I apologize. I don't know exactly talk normally at the time. Uh, so what you're going to want to do, I'm going to actually take add in an effect. There's an, a simple scorch effect. Now, I had a couple fans actually ask me in my comments how I did this because it was a little uh, interesting looking and a little realistic, so I will be showing how. So, in this clip, the Super Battle Droid gets blasted in the arm first, so what we're going to want to do is go roughly two frames behind the part where he gets blasted, take your blaster, make sure you got the right color because there are two different colors for blasters, uh, blend it with the screen and simply add it to the droid. The droid here gets shot in the shoulder, not doing much damage to it, but still impacting it. Um, so you're going to want to make that again only one. It's it's not a long impact. And yeah, so it looks good so far. But again, you want to really add detail. You know how it works in Star Wars. Star Wars, there's sparks. So actually... And where you can get these visual effects right here, go on to footagecrate.com. Uh, it's a free promo for them. Uh, hopefully they sponsor me at some point. And you can grab any of these amazing spark effects with a lot of other things. I do believe you need a premium account for some of these. So if that's the case, I will be dropping a couple in a video in the near future. So you can pick these up for yourselves. So once you have that, it's a little realistic, you know, but the spark is a little bright. So there's something you could do to make this a little bit better. First off, blend it with the screen. The realism, I tell you guys, will be drastically improved upon. When adding this to your video, you will see the immense better difference. So now that it looks like that, increase the size and boom. And again, this was a tip, a trick that I used in, a, in my uh, recent video, The Mandalorian. Um, so if you guys are interested in watching that video and seeing a lot of the spark effects that I previously used in another video, go check that out. Link will be in the description, I think, if I can remember to put it in the description, because let's be honest here, uh, I don't exactly always remember to put stuff in the description. So anyhow, Droid gets blasted, and then he's killed. So we're going to go two behind, grab our little blaster effect, pop it in there. Blend it in, and we're going to blast him in the back of the head. Boom. All right, and then we're going to add a little spark first. Before we continue with that, where am I am going to choose this. Uh, and hopefully this inspires other bigger YouTubers to stop being uh, big old hoggers and actually show how to... Uh, where to get these visual effects because <laughs> trust me dudes I spent a long time trying to find a way to get these visual effects so yeah I'm not hating on any youtubers by the way I'm just saying it'd be nice so you have a death there and already it looks nice you know you got the droid is blasted in the back of the head and he's down for the count but I think we can add to the realism of this so here's how the death. So I like to think when a droid's armor is penetrated, there'd be a scorch mark left. So what you do, you take this little blaster mark. You can find this online. Do not blend this image in with the screen. I'll show you why. If I go to blending and I go screen, it just it just doesn't look right. It 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 ruins the uh, the image. So we're gonna undo that. We're gonna take it and we're gonna make sure is lined up perfectly we have it on this channel there's something i like to call attention to detail and is what i have for any video okay and now here's how you animate it so obviously you have the droid gets blasted but then it falls and the picture stays there well there's a trick to that i'm surprised people couldn't figure this out on their own and had to ask me how to do it you take it and you simply move it <laughs> And it simply follows it. Okay. And maybe decrease the size a little bit so it's, not, so it's a little bit more realistic. 
and boom, there it is again. And boom, done. And at that point, add your various sound effects into it, and you have a battle droid that's been blasted. Now we're going to go back real quick and just quickly add to that. Um, again, this is a tutorial for, for anyone who makes Star Wars content of any sorts. Yes, I know people wish I was making Star Wars or Army Men again. Uh, if you guys have a problem with me choosing to make the content I like, then please go to a different channel and watch them until I am ready to come back because I will take as long as I choose to return to this community. Um, so we're going to take this, expand it a little bit here, boom. And bro gets blasted in the arm. And boom! So that, ladies and gentlemen, is simply how you make these visual effects. If you did enjoy this tutorial, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment what other tutorials you would like. There are a lot of Star Wars and Army Men tutorials I can give off. Please, if you enjoy this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.